It was a rare cross-border incursion, which led to Moscow announcing a counter-terrorism operation in Russia's Belgorod region. A Russian official has now said that the armed insurgents who passed over the Ukrainian frontier on Monday to carry out attacks in Belgorod have been defeated. In the course of the counter-terrorist operation, the nationalist formations of Ukraine were blocked and destroyed by airstrikes and artillery fire. The remaining fighters were driven back to the territory of Ukraine, where they continued to be hit by fire until they were completely eliminated. The counter-terrorist operation, which allegedly killed 70 of the fighters, was lifted on Tuesday afternoon. Russia maintains that the attackers were Ukrainian, but Kyiv has denied involvement. Rather, two Russian paramilitary groups have claimed responsibility for the incursion. The groups, known as the Freedom of Russia Legion and the Russian Volunteer Corps, are reportedly made up of anti-Kremlin Russian fighters based in Ukraine. This Belgorod operation is not a message for Putin. We only have one message to Putin, capitulate and give up. Then you'll get a comfortable space at the Hague court. Their version of events has not been independently verified. The incursion is the largest since Russia's invasion of Ukraine. According to local authorities, it has led to the displacement of over 9,000 residents in the Belgorod region, some of whom experienced damage to their homes. The attack comes as Russia claims to have captured Bakhmut, whilst Kyiv says it still controls part of the city.